What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to clone yourself in Premiere Pro. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see I have Premiere Pro opened up along with a clip of me bottle flipping. Now this is how I recorded it, as you can see everything was in one take. So I done my bottle flip and then I left. And then I literally just stayed there. But then I walked to my next position, which was over there, and just like that, I'm now in position. So this is how you can record yours as well. Feel free to record it in separate clips, but this is easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is just split everything down. As you can see, it was pretty lengthy. So I'll just split it here. I'm going to press C on my keyboard to bring up the razor tool and split that there. And then we'll trim this part down when I'm in position here. Next thing we need to do is drag this one up and drag this one to the bottom. And just like that, we should sync them up. Now, yes, you won't be able to see your other track right now, but we'll sort that out. So this is what I have. Uh, it's five seconds. It's just bottle flipping, as you can see, but we can't see the other clips. So that's what we're gonna fix. To do this, we're gonna head over to the effects tab. And from the effects tab, we're gonna type in linear wipe. This is what we want. The one under video effects, transition, linear wipe. We're gonna drag and drop this on the top video track. Now from here, head over to your effect controls and this is what you're going to get. Now, my wipe angle is currently set at 90 degrees, but if I put the transition completion up, as you can see, that's wiping us out. And there's no way for us to go into the minuses. So if this is the case with you, change it to minus 90. For other people, depending on the angle or how you want this clone effect to look, you'll need to change this to how yours will be. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to the transition completion and put this up. Now we're getting this horrible line here, but we will fix this as well. And there we go. And the way we fix this line, as you can see here, it says feather. What you want to do is turn this up and you can see it goes. Now if you go too much, you can see you'll eventually go into you and it fades you out. So that's what you don't want. Stick around 200 I'd say, it really depends how close you put the clones together and you can see I still got the fade on me. And there we go. We do have a very slight line here, it's pretty hard to see. If I just move this, as you can see there's the line right there, but when someone's watching it I don't think it should be as visible. Now one very quick tip before doing this, make sure you film in the same location and make sure the lighting stays the same. For me it was pretty hard because I had the light above me, I had a light behind the camera which was uh, natural light and then of course I shut the blinds at that window behind me in the video. But just try your best to keep the light the same the entire time and then it won't be so obvious. So from there, we're done. So if I play this through, as you can see, I'm there and I'm also there. Um, you saw there, uh, when you edit yours, pay attention, when I went down, look at the feather there. So if this is the case, then that tells you that this was too much. So we bring this back a tiny bit, maybe bring it to 50. Oh, I need to actually go higher. So maybe bring it to 54, just a bit more, so 56. And there we go. So that should have got rid of the feather on me now. And yes, everything looks better. And that is how simple it is to clone yourself in Premiere Pro. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.